Uh, thank you everyone for attending the session. Uh, this session will be conducted in Spanish. However, the support of the presentation is in English. If you want to know more information about this, you can visit us in, the, in our stand where the sponsors are. So, buena, buenos días a todos. Eh, mi nombre es, es Andrea. Eh, soy la directora de WooClub en España y en LATAM. Y es un placer para mí estar aquí hoy eh, para dar una charla acerca de un tema muy importante ¿no? en la educación, que es la inteligencia artificial y cómo esto está relacionado a las ciencias cognitivas, ¿no? de cómo aprendemos, sobre todo y principalmente enfocado en instituciones de educación superior. La idea aquí es aprender un poco sobre cómo podemos conseguir una experiencia donde los estudiantes estén comprometidos y aprendan de una mejor forma. Eh, soy Andrea, yo llevo el desarrollo de negocio de WooClub en, en España y en LATAM y hoy tengo el verdadero placer de estar con Rafael Martínez Campolanco, que muchos de vosotros ya conoceréis, doctor en educación y con más de 20 años de experiencia. Así que le voy a dar la palabra a él para que se pueda presentar también. Bien, gracias Andrea y a todos. Eh, welcome to this session. Eh, creo que... Lo que nos une a todos es el maravilloso mundo de tech y esto es una gran oportunidad para compartir con esta comunidad que, que sigue creciendo. Actualmente dirijo una de las empresas partner eh, que es de Moodle, que es Industry Learning, eh, partner para, para Perú y estamos impulsando distintos proyectos relacionados con inteligencia artificial generativa utilizando eh, las soluciones de WooClub para varias de ellas y para mí es un honor estar aquí y compartir esta experiencia con todos vosotros. Gracias, Rafa. Eh, ahora lo que os voy a pedir ¿vale? es que grab your smartphones, coged vuestros móviles, escanead el código QR y vamos a participar todos para hacer de, de esta sesión una experiencia más interactiva. Entonces, podéis conectaros todos con el, con el móvil. ¿vale? Aquellos que estéis con el ordenador también podéis poner el código de participación. Y voy a dar unos segundos, ¿vale? Aquí abajo vemos que solo hay tres. Voy a dar unos segundos para que se conecte la gente, ¿vale? Y simplemente lo que vamos a hacer es eh, poner alguna pregunta, ¿vale? Para que, para que podáis participar. Ok, guys, uh, we're going to start the presentation in English, since it was planned like this. Um, I want to ask you this question now, and I want to ask you, in order to explain what WooClub is, how many of you know WooClub in this room? As you can see, uh, results are shown in real time. Okay. A few of you know WooClub. However, most of you don't, and this is the reason why we're here today. I'm gonna leave a few more seconds, and we're gonna go further now. Okay, I'm glad most of you still don't know WooClub. Uh, and this is the reason why I'm here to explain what WooClub is. WooClub is a student engagement platform and is the leader in higher education institutions. Our only mission is to transform education and allow teachers or trainers to grab students or participants' attention, to interact with them through a variety of more than 21 types of question, and to measure understanding in real time, as you've just seen. We're completely integrated with Moodle, and we're a tool that comes from pedagogy to serve pedagogy. So we, we base a lot on neurosciences in order to understand and cover your needs. In order to do this, uh, we base ourselves on four pillars which are critical for the learning success. First of all, it's attention. Without attention, there's no learning. Second, it's active engagement. We need our students to have an active position and not a passive one. Third of all, it's feedback. It's demonstrated that it's super important to receive feedback, and the more immediate it is, the more successful it's going to be. And fourth, it's memory consolidation. We want, our, we want our participants to be able to consolidate this learning for it to be a success. Now I'm going to pass the word to Rafa to speak a bit about AI in education and how WooClub will later on introduce it. Listo. Bueno, cuando usamos esta herramienta potente, nos preguntamos desde quienes hacemos inteligencia artificial qué es lo que realmente funciona. Buscamos la atención desde hace muchísimo tiempo y la personalización de la, del aprendizaje 
es uno de los grandes eslabones con lo cual lo estamos logrando con herramientas como esta, justamente al poder lograr procesar datos de una manera muy rápida y que esto ayude a eh, pues que la ruta que toma cada quien sea la que más se adapte con ello y llamar la atención de las personas, que es algo bien complicado actualmente. La participación activa va a depender siempre de la gama o el menú de herramientas que se tengan a disponibilidad. Esto se convierte en un gran reto, sobre todo hoy, cuando existen muchísimas formas de interactuar con las personas y tenerlas todas en un solo lugar es algo realmente increíble. El feedback eh, es una de las cosas que más me gusta justamente de plataformas como Google Lab porque te acerca a poder tener esa eh, decisión quirúrgica, ese tema que le va a importar y le va a interesar a la persona en cuanto a cómo va el progreso de su propio aprendizaje. Y esto está asociado a la consolidación de la memoria, a eso que tiene que ver con el aprendizaje profundo. Que por cierto, eh, no solamente parte del error que se identifica entre las personas, que se automatiza con herramientas como esta, sino que está diseñada para que las personas puedan progresar en función de lo que van viendo. Y este seguimiento riguroso exponencial es algo que la tecnología de hoy tiene que dar respuesta y más cuando está basada sobre inteligencia artificial. Thank you, Rafa. Thank you so much. Um, I want to ask you and ask the audience what you think the main advantages in AI, specifically in the areas of education and training are. So if you want to answer, you'll see the question on your smartphones and you can answer uh, with just one word or what you think the main advantages are. If you have somehow disconnected from the event, you can scar scan the QR code again. AI for teachers, ease of content creation. While you answer, um, I just want to talk briefly here that the reason why WooClub introduced AI in its tool was because we wanted to help trainers and teachers um, with their biggest challenge, with, which is lack of time. Lack of time has a big consequence on education, and that it's that they don't get as involved in active methodologies as they could because of, of this. So WooClub, what it does is it generates content of high, uh, high uh, pedagogy quality, which you can use in seconds in your events. And that's what we're going to do right now. And I'm going to show you in a live demo. OK. Vale. I'll show you a demo. OK, so I have to exit here. This is WooClub's event, and we have decided to introduce AI within, as it would be, another type of question. So what we see here is that when we go and create using AI, um, we want to allow trainers and teachers to be able to use different supports as PDF, text, uh, just a link of YouTube video, a topic or um, file, audio video file. Just for the ease of it, I'm going to show you with a PDF document. Okay, the PDF document is in Spanish, so I'm sorry about this, but uh, it's about the use of generative AI in Spanish universities. Basically, it works as simple as this. You upload the document or whatever other support you want to use, and you go and continue. What WooClub asks here is what kind of questions do you want to generate? We have from MCQs to brainstorming questions, if you want to generate a debating class, to polls, to fill in the blanks. And I'm sorry because the internet is a bit slow here. <laughs> and I think that's why it's getting a bit uh, blocked. But this is being very revolutionary in the higher ed sector because it's allowing teachers to speed up their process. So basically what we do here is we already have the content uploaded. And then, for example, let's choose uh, either brainstorming questions and multiple choice questions. We go and generate content. And in terms of seconds, we would have it ready. Okay, now you're going to see the questions. Um, 
And here you would have the questions. The good thing is that you can edit any question, you can eliminate any answer, put your own answers, but it's as easy as this. Once everything is approved by the teacher, you add the questions to the event, and you would have them here following your own created questions. Now I'm gonna pass the word again to Rafa, uh, as he's an expert in Muro, and we just wanna give uh, a few uh, words about our integration with Muro, where we have a plugin. Es que va muy lento. Bueno, he tenido la fortuna de utilizar Google, Google con Moodle en varias oportunidades, desde eventos muy pequeños para 5, 10 personas, hasta recientemente utilizarlo para una sesión con más de 3.000 docentes con la eh, Universidad Ariandina de Colombia. Y eh, realmente es impresionante porque, pues, al estar integrado con IA Generativa, se pueden procesar una cantidad de volúmenes enormes de textos, videos y demás, y esto ser un recurso para facilitar la construcción de preguntas interactivas, con lo cual se ahorra muchísimo tiempo y sobre todo es un recurso que puede ser completamente editable, con lo cual, si no estoy de acuerdo con la calidad de preguntas, puedo intervenirlas, pero a partir ya de algo que está creado, eh, pues utilizando justamente esta potente tecnología. Yo creo que es algo que para todos los docentes y sobre todo para quienes lideran instituciones educativas, tener esto debajo del radar para hacer sesiones mucho más interactivas, pero sobre todo basado en volúmenes enormes de procesamiento de datos que pueden ser de, de una manera muy sencilla, bastante intuitivo, no hay que saber de prompts para poder iniciar en este camino. Y yo creo que es una gran potencialidad que tiene Google como herramienta y con la integración de Moodle como una actividad más asociada a todas las características que tiene, es realmente eh, increíble. Thank you, Rafa. Uh, I think we're running out of time, so if anybody has any question, you can also come by our stand, or you can take the time now, or the few minutes that we have to ask um, the questions you need. Hi, I'm uh, Bruno Polubert from University of Montreal, and I would like to know uh, a little bit about the behind the scenes work of your AI system. Uh, so it's an API which is connected to OpenAI, uh, the Model 4, and how it works is that we don't train the models, um, and in terms of security, we're, it's one of our priorities as well. And what we want to do is just make it easy for teachers to upload any kind of content, and we want teachers to have the final decision on what content they include or they don't include. I don't know if I've responded your... Perfectly, but are you considering providing access to other LLMs that might be more almost as performing, but maybe less with a less important carbon footprint? It's something, sustainability is one of the key aspects in our company, so it's something that we're thinking about. And what I can tell you is that AI right now is on the gen AI side. We're generating content, but we're also improving a lot the part of the feedback, and it's something where we will probably have results beginning of next year. So our company, uh, we're scaling up right now, and we're actually in many universities in, in Canada, uh, but I know that there's gonna be a lot of AI evolution in the next year, so that's something very nice. Anyone else? You answered what I was, what I wanted to ask, but just to, uh, one more thing I want to seek clarification. That is, when you say teachers can upload content, uh, it can be anything, right? Any type of documents, PowerPoint presentations, any, different sorts of things. Uh, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. You can upload any type of content and also, um, I think it's important here to mention that one of the biggest uh, value propositions from WooClub, other than also our pedagogy side and the type of questions that we have that enable to use a lot of different types of careers uh, from business, medicine, chemistry, anything, but it's also that we integrate not only with LMSs, but also with presentation tools, with video conference tools. So we know universities are very big structures and we don't want to be a standalone platform. So we integrate with your exis existing works workplace. Thank you. Just one more thing. Uh, even, that includes even sometimes uh, teachers upload uh, video files and things like that. Still, you can use that content yeah, to... Yeah, that's correct. Thank yeah. you very much. You're welcome. 
So one really quick question. Yeah, last one. So in terms of, uh, hello, it's Luis from ISIC in Spain. Um, in terms of uh, limit the tokens used by the, the teachers, do you, do you have some mechanism? So I don't have uh, much expend on the AI? I can't answer that question myself because I think it's too technical, but um, if you want to come by my stand, I'll write it straight away on our, our communication channel and we'll get an answer very soon. Sure, thank you. Because it's only on the AI related part, right? Yeah. I don't think there are any limits if this uh, answer is your question, but I, I prefer to be sure on what my answer is. But thank you so much for the question. So thanks Andrea and Rafa for the presentation. If you want to see WooClub in action, we will use it tomorrow in the DevJam to choose the topics to discuss about. So it's a great tool. So, and as they said, they have a stand in the sponsor area. So thank you. And yeah, I, I want to say sorry about the because of the internet connection. <laughs> Everything went a bit slow and we didn't expect this. But thank you so much for your participation. I hope it was for you, from your interest. And we'll be waiting for you at, the, at our stand. Thank you so much. Muchas gracias. Gracias, Rafa.